welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January favorites. I looked back on my old videos and I totally forgot I didn't do a December favorites. So I extremely, extremely apologize for that. I just think December there's a lot of things like Christmas with all the holidays and Christmas. And I want to do this other videos. There was a lot of video ideas in my head for December. I have a good amount of products this month, like a lot of products, because since we missed last month, I wanted to put more products in this month's video. So yeah, I really apologize if you guys are looking through and like, where's your December fa December favorites? Well, this month is going to be epic with favorites because I have tons. Um, I'm going to try each month to do a favorites video. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up and let's just get right on into the video. My first favorite this month, even though I recently got these nails done, is my new nails. I haven't shown them on videos. I haven't done a video with them actually on yet. These are the nails. They are chrome nails and if you know me, I love nails. Everything nails, like nails, I have fake nails mostly like every other month. I've been loving these. I had them on maybe like a week, I got them like a week ago. They are the most beautiful as chrome, like do you see that? It like shifts purple and then green and then blue a little bit. It's the most beautiful as nails and these are fake if you were wondering. Oh, I think that's a new thing now, like chrome, like chrome nails. I think everyone has them right now, but um... I literally been loving it like look at that it's almost like a green highlighter like I just love my nails that's one of my favorites like can we just take a moment like oh, can we just take a moment ah oh, I love them so much and if you need to get if you're trying to decide if you're trying to decide like what big nail design you want to get next I do recommend chrome because they have different colors you can get and I just loved this color because it was so different Love, loves, that's my first favorite. So, my next favorite is actually my hair, and that sounds weird, and you're like, and you might be like, what, your hair? I don't see any difference, because it's like, looks the same as in other videos. So, I don't know if you guys can notice, sorry, it's kind of up and personal, but I don't know if you guys can notice, but I cut my hair. It was literally so long, it was literally up to here like my my hips and now it's like up to my end of my shoulder length like here so and I got layers like I don't know if you can see but like some pieces are shorter than like the longer pieces I love it my hair feels so much healthier I literally before I got this done I haven't gotten my hair cut since July so that was a long 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 time so yeah I needed to get it done and I love the way it turned out I love the layers I haven't got layers since I was nine, eight or nine, so it's been a long time, but I love them. They're so pretty and just, I love the way they look so far. Okay, so now moving on to the makeup favorites, actually related kind of favorites to this video. This product, this is my first, this is my first makeup product. Uh, my favorite make makeup product. This is the L'Oreal True Max Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation in the color N2. I literally love this foundation. I think I did a re demo and review on this like a long, long time ago. Not a long time ago, but like, I don't remember. I think I did. I remember doing something like that with this foundation. Um, and I love it. Oh, I think it was a first impressions video. I'll link it down below. Um, that's what I at least remember. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But I love this foundation. Um, the only thing I don't is that you get no product in here. Literally, I've been using this for only like two weeks. And it's basically almost gone. The only, like, even if my finger here, ready? Barely anything comes off. Like when I first got this, a lot of product came off. But all the foundation, I don't know if you can see, but it's soaked in the bottom of it. And, like, I barely get any product when every time I use this, so that's kind of frustrating. And it costs as much as a liquid foundation would be for from L'Oreal, but you don't get as much product as you do in, like, the pumps or, like, the squeezy tubes that you get in here. So that's kind of a rip-off, but honestly, I think it's all worth it. I'm definitely going to repurchase. What I've been doing is just, like, taking the sponge out. I know this is weird, but I've been taking the sponge out. I'm not going to do it now. But I've been taking the sponge out and just taking the bottom where all the foundation is kind of there. 
um, and just take my beauty blender and just do that and it been working fine. I just know I'm going to be running out of this really quickly, like pretty color match for me. This is the most beautiful foundation ever. It gives, it's like, it's, it has coverage, but it gives you a, mute, a beautiful glow. What I see in sometimes in like foundation, they give you good coverage, but they look matte. Like this, this one has good coverage, but it makes you dewy, which I love since I have dry skin. I love this. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't look streaky. It makes my skin look so flawless. Like I love it. If you were looking for like amazing, like one, you been like want to splurge on a foundation. Well, it's not a splurge product, but you don't get as much product as you would in like a liquid. I would recommend this if you have dry skin. I don't know how it would work for oily skin. I don't I don't think it would work because it's I don't have oily skin, but um I don't think it would work because it's so glowy. Like I love it. I do have the Physicist Formula one. I like that one, but I don't like it as much as this one because it just this one is like I love the glow it gives me and then the physician the physician's formula one is a little bit more matte which I personally don't like cuz I love like the gl the glowiness of this but I still would recommend the physician's formula one but if you have oily skin probably cuz it's more matte um, I think I got this in the beginning of February um, not February what am I saying in the beginning of January so I've been using it a ton and I'm just obsessed ah Love it. <laughs> the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory. Um, I my re, my I think my last video I did a get ready with me on a Valentine's Day glam or something like that. I did that and then I think it went up before this video probably. <laughs> you guys will probably see it after this video comes up. But I love this foundation. I used it in, in that video. I never tried it and this. I filmed that video like a long time ago, so I've been using it a ton since then, and I have it on today. I really don't know if you can tell, because all the stuff I have on top of it, but I love this stuff. It has like this weird, like, applicator, like, look at that, like, it's so strange, but honestly, it gives my skin a beautiful, like, it's mo it's matte, but it doesn't make me look straight up, like, matte, like, like, Bam, you're wearing matte. Um, it gives you a flawless finish, but it doesn't look cakey. It's a good medium coverage, and I just love the way this looks on my skin. Um, I love it, and I would definitely recommend it if you have dry skin. Like me, um, love this. Like, oh, love it. And it's so affordable. Like, when in a while, it's like, the, like so affordable. Like, oh, nothing else good to say. I just love it. Two next product I'm going to be talking about. I have some skincare products in here, which I usually don't mention skincare products, but I thought I would. I think I think I went through my playlist of my favorites videos, and I only saw like I did October favorites the last one. I don't know if I did November favorites either. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry guys, if I I don't know if I missed a November favorites too. I'm gonna have to check on that. I don't even know. I'm, I could be making stuff up. I could have done a December favorites. I remember doing one though. No, I didn't do a December favorites because I because I I think oh I remember I remember I got remember I did my best in beauty like that's why I didn't do a December favorites I did my best in beauty videos that's why I didn't do it so I get it now so it I didn't, it wasn't a coincidence I just did it because I did all my best in like best eye product best face product best lip products of 2016 videos that. I didn't, well, I, I, I intended to not do it in um, December favorites because I already did those videos, so it wasn't, like, on, it wasn't, like, um, on per, like, it wasn't, I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't, like, forget about it, I just, I knew I didn't want to do it because I already did those videos, that makes sense, but, yeah, so... <laughs> So long story short, I short I didn't do a December favorites because I did those videos, and I don't think I did a November favorites either because I looked through my videos and I didn't see one either. I could be totally wrong, but the next product is this Smashbox Photo Shadow Trio in the shade Vocal Vocal Point. I don't know why I couldn't read that. So this is what it, the back looks like if you want more information. So basically I got this a long time ago. I remember I went to Ulta and they had the like I signed up for an event that Smashbox had in out my local Ulta and I went there and they got me this free sample. I really don't know if you can actually purchase this. I got it in like a goodie bag. They didn't really like show it to me. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's literally the most prettiest thing ever. 
my favorite shade in this palette, like this little trio. Oh my god, this shade. I, I will just buy, repurchase this just for this shade. This is this shade right here, this pale champagne color. The only thing bad I have to say about this palette is that the pans are so small that I can't barely, well, I actually, where is it? Let me swatch all of them actually for you guys. Because they are gorgeous. Ready? Oh, focus. Like, look at that. They're not even giving them justice, but on the eyes, they work beautifully. That matte brown is amazing for the crease. I love it. And this highlight shade, that, that shade is not even giving it justice on camera, but I have it on my cheekbones. Do you see that glow? <gasps> like, oh, and then my, oh my God. I love this as that, that champagne as a highlight. It's the most beautiful thing ever. The only thing, like I said, is that I can't dip my brush in there barely. I have to like pinch it to get in there but honestly I don't really care because this highlight is amazing like I don't even need, barely use this as an eyeshadow because it's perfect as an eye like a highlight I would definitely repurchase it just for this highlight shade because oh my god so creamy and so buttery like oh as a highlight it's gorgeous I just want them to make a single like highlight like a single pan of this like that would and this pinky shade is gorgeous too. It has like a gold iridescence. I love it. These pig these are so pigmented. At when you swatch them, they give no justice at all. But on the eyes, they are gorgeous. And I okay, sorry about that. But my character in store took okay, I'm so sorry. Next is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfection Powder in the shade One. Oh my God, guys, this is my like holy grail powder right now. It's the most beautiful -ish, like, I don't know if you can see in the pan too, it has like the beautiful sheen in it. I don't really know what that mark is on there. Might be hidden hard pan, hopefully not. But it's like this baked, I think it's baked or something, but you can't really see it on the hand, can you not? But this is the most prettiest powder I have it on today. And it just gives you the most beautiful sheen with at the same time, but set in your makeup. Like after I put this on, I just see me glowing from within. It's not like a stark glowy, like, but it sets my makeup in place. That's what I love about this. And I love this, like, oh, like it just gives you the most beautiful sheen ever. And it just sets your makeup and it doesn't make me look cakey. I love that powder. Oh, amazing. <laughs> this, this, oh, I think the tag came off cause it's not on there anymore. Cause I've been using this like for like years now not even on anymore i think this was the maybelline brow drama brow thing brow gel i don't even know if they have this in like available anymore i'm not that old obviously but i don't know if they do i really haven't checked but i literally can put this in my eyebrows like i could put it right now and just show you guys oh my god i don't know if i mentioned this i think i mentioned this in another video too sorry if these are repeat products but i love this brow gel the wand is so funky, but I love it. It has this like spiky end that you it, like grabs on the ends and it doesn't, like do you see that? It's like spiky on the inner corner, like on the um tip for it gets right in there and then like the other side, can, oh, I love it. And it just sets my eyebrows so nicely. It makes them look so full. And this is what I only have my eyebrows today, literally. I just brushed this through like right now and before. And it just gives it so much like volume, but it's clear, it's so weird. And I love this. I've been loving this literally forever. Oh, <laughs> I've been loving this forever and I just, nothing but good things to say about that. Like, <laughs> I love it. But this is the Milani color statement lip liner in the in the shade, wait, shade number 13 pretty pink and i love this lip liner it's like the most prettiest shade it might look bright but honestly wait it, it's right there it looks bright when you swatch it but on the lips the only thing i have to say is that it's like a pencil so i have to sharpen it but this is the most beautiful color it doesn't it looks bright but on the lips kind of just goes in with your lip color a little bit and it goes good with every lip color if you put a vampy lip it looks good like anything it looks good with and it just super creamy these are so pigmented and these last forever like if you just wear these alone it would just probably last a long time i love these and this is my only color i own but oh i definitely want to repurchase them because they're super creamy they're not dry but they're not too creamy where they just break or they just I just love it, no, no words for an eyeshadow palette. And I, this is my only eyeshadow palette because I feel like the other eyeshadow palettes that I have, I need to like use more and like give more of a chance because I feel like I haven't used them 
that much to give a full lot, but this one I use a ton since December. I got this for Christmas, so a long time. And this is the most pretty, look at that. It's the, oh, let me tell you what it is. This is the Tarte Tarte's Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god, guys, look at this. It has like everything you would need in one palette. Like you have your bases, you have your transitions, you have your like crease shades, you have your outer corner shades, you have your shimmer shades. I love it. And I love how, like, I know they said that you can use like this row and that's one look, this row from that look, that's what that like each row is it like a look, like that's a look, that's a look, that's a look. I and like that's a look. I love it. I've been using this forever. And I even use this trendy shade, like this beautiful shade, like once in one of my videos. And oh my god, I love this. Look at this. Oh my god, you it's like a shift. It's gorgeous. And I'll swatch some of the mattes. This one I use a ton. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. They're so pigmented and creamy. Only thing I have to say is that they're a little bit powdery, but I love them. I think they're so nice and so, especially the shimmers. They're super buttery. Like, that says it all, basically. They're super buttery, super pigmented, and this is probably, like, the best Tarte palette ever. Like, eyeshadow palette. Like, I love it. The big mirror. I love how pigmented they are, but they're not chalky. They're easy to blend. I love that palette. Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. It's the most, I know Too Faced came out with, like, a whole peach line, and... Yeah, I, I was really in. I got their lip gloss too. It's really nice. And I got this blush and I love it. It's the most pretty. I have it on today on my cheeks. I don't know if you can see, but it gives you the most prettiest sheen ever. And it smells like peaches. Like, oh, I love the smell of peaches. And this just, I love it. Oh my God. Oh, the black kind of mixed in there. But this is the most prettiest. That's a weird place to swatch. Oh my God. Let me swatch somewhere better if you can actually see it. Okay, there it is. That's it. This doesn't even give it justice, to be honest. But, like, on... That was, like, a terrible swatch again. What are you doing? Oh, here it is. Okay, so that is the beautiful, like, shift to it. I love the indent. I love the packaging. Like, oh, the little peach on the corner. I just can't. Um, I love this. It just it gives your... Oh, I don't know what that is. It's like mascara. I don't know if you can see that, but... It gives your cheeks the most prettiest glow, but still gives color to them. I love it. It's not too pigmented where you just need so much of a light hand where it looks so stark. It looks really, like, natural on the cheeks, and that's what I love about this blush. I feel like it, it's, like, the most prettiest, pigmented, butteriest blush in the world. Like, no, I'm not really picky when it comes to blush, but that one is just over the top. I lip products, and this is the MAC Lipstick in the shade syrup and this is a luster finish oh my god i don't know if i mentioned this in another video i'm sorry if these are so many repeats but i love this lipstick i know this shade doesn't even get that much hype like no one talks about this but this is the most prettiest plum i love these shades on me by the way like these shades look amazing on my skin tone like i just think they're beautiful like i don't know like look at that oh my god it has a beautiful sheen to it and I love these purple tone, pinky, purpley tone on me. Like, I love these shades on me. They just look beautiful. And I love the way they look on my lips. Um, it's almost like a your lips, but better color. Um, this formula is amazing. It's not too drying. And it just gives your, your lips a beautiful, like, glow. And it doesn't make it, it's not too sheer when you barely can see it. But it's like the perfect shade and these are so pigmented so buttery and i just love these i did a wear test and a review on this liquid lipstick oh okay then and this is the mark jacobs liquid lipstick in the shade slow burn i love this liquid lipstick if you saw that review video you know like this is once oh my god why am i swatching it's so weird like i don't know if you can oh my god there it is so like that was one swipe like that's a weird place to swatch it. Okay, then. Like, this is one swipe. Like, what? This is so pigmented. These last forever. Like, I was eating greasy food. I was eating chips. And this lasted, like, oh. I've been using this ever, like, since I did that review video. I'm not wearing it today. But, like, every other day except for today. I love this. It gives your... It's not too matte. It doesn't dry down completely. Which, I, I when I first applied it, I thought it was going to dry down. But over when it came, when the day passed on, it didn't dry down. 
Um, but it did transfer on my cup and stuff, but I still love, it's super comfortable, it's not drying. Love this shade, like it's, like, can you tell I love these pinky purple tones on me? Oh, literally love it. <laughs> the Fresh Sugar Rose, this is these, I got this as like a free little sample and like a kit. Oh my god, this smells amazing, it smells like fruit, tropical, I love it. And this is the most pretty shade, it looks red on the tube, in the tube. But on, it, it's like, it gives you a tint, but it's a lip balm. But it doesn't give you, like, it's not, it gives you the most prettiest tint. I love wearing this, like, at school. It's right there. Sorry. Weird place to swatch, but. Let's see, Let's see if I can swatch it with my, my left hand. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't even give it justice when you swatch it. But I've been using this a ton. This is like a mini doc sample. And I love it. This formula is amazing. It's so hydrating. It's so creamy. It doesn't last long at all. I could probably give it like two hours of hydration and then you guys have to reapply. I wore, I think I wore this at school once and I loved it. Like I gave, like I kept feeling my lips and I kept feeling hydration and I love it. It gives you the most pretty, beautiful tint, but it doesn't look like you have something on, which it just looks like your natural color of your lip, lip, lip color, but it, like on another level. Like I just love this. I love the formula. Definitely like gonna have to repur like buy some more of the, the like the flavors and like I think they have like like what other ones do they have? I think they have like petal, honey, like those ones. Oh I'm gonna have to buy some of those because those look amazing. So the last two products are actually skincare products and I never mentioned skincare products in my favorites video but I just have to mention them because I love skincare. Like I love taking care of my skin like basically everyone loves but this has been my favorite face mask for forever. This is the Lush BB Seaweed. I don't really know. You can see it for yourself. I don't know what it's called, but this is a fresh face mask, and this is like the small size, but can you see how much I've used out of this? Like, I use, oh, did I just eat it? Oh, I almost, okay then, I put my lip on it, okay then, but it smells amazing, it smells like fresh fruit tropical, and I love Lush products, like, oh, love it, and this just hydrate it's not going to be like a charcoal mat like that kind of stuff but it's like the most pretty like prettiest what am i saying it like hydrates but it tones down my skin and just brighten that's what i love about this it says a revitalin mineral rich mass to cleanse and soften that's what it does fresh nutrients soothing honey and rose absolutely make a great mask for everyone I love this. I feel like this would be good for any skin type. I just love the way this like makes my skin feel and it doesn't break me out. I just love this. I'm probably going to like use this tonight. I I just love it and it's so it's like super they're lush not affordable, but they're not like super expensive and that will last me forever even though I I've, I've been using that forever and I just love it. Oh, I love that face mask. Ah, love it. Cleanser recently is the Fresh, so, fresh soy face cleanser for all skin types. I love this cleanser. I got this for a sample for my birthday, I think it was. I haven't used this in like forever because I've been trying out other stuff that my skin almost misses it because like other stuff has been breaking me out, like breaking me out. So, and then when I usually use this, it like makes my skin look awesome. But since I haven't been using it, it makes, I just miss it so much. My skin misses it. So this smells like complete, like, amazing like soy like oh i just love the smell of this it smells like fresh i love it well fresh haha <laughs> it smells fresh because it's fresh okay <laughs> i'm done with my puns <laughs> but yes i love this it just hydrates but it's not one it's not a cleanser that will foam up a lot it's just gonna it's very like amazing for sensitive skin because it's not the one that's gonna like foam and then it's not really a big treatment but i just love the way this makes my skin feel and it hasn't been breaking me out. I just love the way it makes my skin look and feel. Love it. But yeah, that's so going to be the end of my... Um, I was going to say December. Oh, my God. These... Okay. January favorites. I have a lot of favorites. Um, hopefully, this video isn't too long. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to edit a lot of things out. But um, all these products, I truly love. I love them so much. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys